Now, before we start looking at all the individual synthesis elements on Massive X, it's very important for us to understand the routing tab. Because unlike Massive 1, the routing section is a lot more flexible and it opens up a lot more sound design possibilities. Now, if I switch over to another initialized preset, specifically the Massive X blank version, you'll notice that nothing is connected here in the routing page. And if I was to play MIDI notes, we don't hear any sound. So this is almost like a modular synthesizer. Now we have to make actual connections to hear stuff. All right, so this oscillator has an output. I can just click here and I can connect it to the filter here. The F stands for the filter. We don't have a filter, but I can just load in a filter. And then the filter output, I want to send into this first insert effect. We don't have an insert effect, but I can add something here. Let's say this pitch crusher. And then finally, I want to skip the other two insert effects and go straight to this send section here. Now when I play a note on the keyboard, we hear sound. So you really get to define the signal path in Massive X. Let's check out this PM aux section here. So on each of the two oscillators, we have phase modulation and there's an aux input for it. So if you want to connect any other signal to that aux input, we just have to plug it in here. I mentioned in the previous tutorial that we have access to a second oscillator in here. You can see here, this is a dedicated oscillator. So let's take insert B, which is now an oscillator, and plug that into the phase modulation input for our main wavetable oscillator. Other things we can also do is to add in modulation. So let's say any of these modulators, like the LFO here, LFO6, I can drop it to mod 1, and now the modulation is available to be connected to anything. Let's talk a bit about this polyphonic area versus monophonic area. It doesn't mean what you probably think it means. It doesn't refer to the number of notes you can play, but it refers to how it treats the voices. So if I was to play one note, and that one note is going through a filter, going through some effects, and has a specific envelope shape, let's say an amp envelope shape. If I was to play another note, that second note will have its own modulator. So if I was to assign another modulator to the filter cutoff, let's say, every note that I play will get its own modulation. So every voice is treated independently, hence the term polyphonic. In this monophonic area, all the voices together are combined and treated together. So for example, if I was to add a send effect here, like a reverb, so now this reverb is not applied to each individual voice, but is applied to the collective sound. All right, so that's a quick look at the routing tab. There's so much we can do here. So as I show you the different elements on the synth, I'm gonna go back into the routing and make some changes. So get familiar with the routing tab. All right, now in the next tutorial, let's check out the dual wavetable.